Your human body, your energy body, the way I like to teach it is in terms of giving you the model that you have circuits coming in through the top of your head. And we probably do, okay? And as the circuits come into your head, it of course fills your entire body, helps in the development of cells, helps in the maintenance of your life. And what, what I really believe that if, I, if we could imagine that I was your angel coach, and you hadn't yet incarnated. And I'm going to tell you what life on the planet Earth is about. <laughs> I wonder if we could find the angelic Prozac. But anyway, <laughs> what I would tell you is, as you p prepare for incarnation, what is, the th what is the purpose? Why are you going down there? This is the reason. You're going down to learn the wise distribution of this energy. Because as you plug your energy into anything, what you give that energy to becomes an investment in the process of life. And that investment gives returns to you and returns to the whole of life. Think of it like investing money. And that every day you're given $100 worth of energy to spend in your life. And that as you invest it, either you're going to invest it in positive circumstances, positive relationships, positive thoughts, that will bring high interest returns to your system, or you're going to make investments in which you start building a debt. And eventually, the $100 worth of energy that you get every day is not going to be enough to finance your debts. You've got to take a loan. Where are you going to get that loan? You're going to get it from your cell tissue. Or you're going to get it from other people's energy. You develop a kind of a parasitical sense where you need to be around people's energy in a way that's beyond even your consciousness. You don't know why you need this person. You don't know why you need this addiction. But it comes from the fact that you're literally grasping for energy because you're running out. And then at some point, that actually becomes the formation of an illness. So I want you to keep this in your mind. And I also want to point out, uh, as, you, uh, as I continue with this, and think of your own energy circuits. Because as I dis discuss and list, the many ways you can lose your energy, you know, take note and don't sit there and say, oh, that's not me. Of course, I would do that, but I don't want you to do that. <laughs> okay. What's it look like when your energy leaks? Look at this image. You have energy coming into the top of your head. And when I d did a reading on somebody, when I still do them, I use this image. I am, I literally use like a timeline that goes back to the sense of your birth and then when I get a sense of where you're leaking energy and why. One of the favorite, pe you know, one of the favorite places people like to le leak their energy is into their childhood. That's very popular. So you send your energy back to uh, years ago, years and years ago, uh, in into some degree of parental criticism. And what you decide unconsciously, and this is true, is what percentage of your energy goes in that direction. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This is absolutely real. Once you start noticing this in yourself, you're going to see, you're really going to be surprised. When you get up in the morning and you run off to the shower and you're showering and you're dressing, I'm telling you something. While you're doing that, you are going through an energy distribution phase. And you're preparing for that day. And if you're holding on to a lot of this historic part of yourself, you are literally taking your $100 worth of energy and saying, okay, give 20 bucks to my childhood, give 30 bucks to the end of that relationship, give 115 bucks to the way I left my last job. So by the time you're done, what do you, what do you have left is either you're in debt or my handwriting's much better in different circumstances. Either you're in debt or you, and you've begun the borrowing of energy from your uh, physical tissue, or you're left with somewhere between 20 to uh, two bucks to run your life today, today. And I, I wanna point out what that, this means in actually practical terms. Just imagine that you have a marvelous thought, a marvelous thought, an inspiration. Like, here's your angel saying, listen to me. It's time for you to leave here and start a marvelous new creative job. Imagine that. And you hear the inspiration because hearing does not cause, does not require a lot of energy. 
What requires the energy is action. So you take this inspiration and you think, oh, this is good. And then your angel is sitting next to you and saying, look, toots, if you really want this idea to become a powerful part of your life, then you better get some of the energy from your past because this is going to cost energy. I need $80 worth of your energy per day to make this incarnate. And if you're running into high debt, the only thing you'll ever do with that energy, the only thing you'll ever do with that thought is wish you could do something with it and then regret that you never did.